my name is Eva Hakansson and I'm a mechanical engineer. And at my day job, I teach as a lecturer at the University of Auckland. And I have a quite cool hobby. And I ride and build the world's fastest electric motorcycle. So racing is a genetic disorder for me. My dad was a racer in the 60s, the Swedish champion in road racing in 1962. And I just grew up with uh, racing motorcycles, building things in the garage. So land speed racing is a uh, quite unusual type of racing. So you're, you are alone on the track and you're actually racing everybody else in history before you. So you're trying to be faster than anyone has ever been before. So my electric motorcycle, the Kilojoule, which is my current one, and the Green Envy that's being built right now, is surprisingly a big part of just commercial technology, off the shelf. There are some innovative parts, and what I am most proud of and most excited about is actually reinventing the wheel. So for, for extremely high speed, normal rubber tires become a problem, and we need a wheel that can run flat. And that's where the idea of the key wheel, so this is a solid metal wheel, which basically has grown rubber hair. So it's a cast industrial grade polyurethane, and it's super strong and has the potential of becoming the world's fastest wheel. The Kilojoule has about 400 horsepower. The Green Envy will have more than twice the power. This is called a streamliner motorcycle, which means that it's completely enclosed and you sit on the inside, like in a car. So it's, it's claustrophobic, it's quite scary, quite uh, terrifying being enclosed in something uh, that small going that fast with 150 kilograms of batteries sitting right behind your back. But if everything goes well, it's of course just like magic and you forget all the uncomfort and all the stress and, and you say, well, let's, let's go home and build an even faster one for next year. So people that build their own racing vehicles are few and far between, just to begin with. And females that do that are almost unheard of. It is old man's racing, that's what people call it. Uh, I'm kind of coming up as a new generation of mechanical engineers that grew up with electric vehicles. And we see that this is really the way to go. So another part of my mission is to get girls and women into engineering. Uh, what we learn in engineering school is not just about machinery and cars and racing or, or big things. You can actually use your skills to design a whole lot of things. I can find my way around in the design office. I teach CAD, that's what I teach at the University of Austin. But I also have the opportunities of doing real hands-on work. And I am pushing for getting more of that into education of our mechanical engineers.